Hey, welcome back. I'm Sean Barr, and at Looking Point, we help IT organizations make decisions around collaboration, security, and networking. A common question we get from our customers is, hey, how do I take my Microsoft Teams environment and integrate it with my on-premise Cisco voice infrastructure? Well, that's exactly what we're going to talk about in this video, and this is a Tech Talk. Alright, we're back and we are talking about integrating Microsoft Teams with Cisco Call Manager. Now, what I've got on my computer here is a diagram that I'm going to step through so we can talk a little bit about the overall architecture, what we've got configured on the back end. Alright, so let's get into it. So, looking at this diagram on the left, starting from the top left here, we've got our Call Manager, our Cisco Call Manager. We've got my desk phone registered to Call Manager. We've got a PSTN gateway which really just connects our voice system to the public's telephone network. Um, and then we've also got a SIP gateway which connects us to our Microsoft Teams environment. And so essentially one thing you'll notice is we've got essentially two PBXs. Now you could move some clients to be Teams client only and they could make voice calls through this SIP gateway, call manager would make some decisions, send it out to the PSTN or send it to local phones. Additionally, you could have just your traditional call manager users and they could make calls between Microsoft Teams and on-premise call manager. What we have done is we've leveraged the single number reach feature in Cisco Call Manager to take calls to my phone to simultaneously ring my Microsoft Teams client. Um, and in the other direction, if another Teams client calls me, uh, calls my Teams client, uh, it will also ring my desk phone. We're using the single number reach feature on the Microsoft Teams client to relay calls back to call managers. Whether I'm on my laptop or I'm at my desk, the phone will ring both places. So by using single number reach on the call manager side and single number reach on the Microsoft Teams side, it could create a voice calling loop. So to avoid that, we've created some rules to ensure that that doesn't happen for those conditions. Now, before I get into to it actually working and showing the demo, I'd like to talk a little bit about would you do this in your environment? Well, it really depends on what your requirements are. Uh, if you wanted to run both Microsoft Teams and Call Manager, you could do that totally independent and route certain DIDs to Teams and they would be two separate systems just bridged together through this SIP gateway. Additionally, if you wanted to do what we're doing here where we've got the best of both worlds. We've got a Teams client, it's my desk phone. We've got a physical phone, it's my desk phone. It all rings at the same time. And regardless if a Teams client calls my Teams client, it's gonna ring my desk phone. And the same in the reverse direction. If somebody on the Cisco side calls my extension, it's gonna ring the Teams client. If you want the best of those worlds, you're gonna need to leverage single number reach on both sides. That does create some additional complexity and it does require some additional management. So that being said, just know that if you're going into a scenario like this, you're gonna have a little bit more complexity. It's gonna require some more administrative support. So with all of that being said, let's flip over to Microsoft Teams. So this is my Microsoft Teams client and you can see that I've got calls here and I can just simply dial a number. All right, so let's jump in and call my desk phone. So I'm gonna call my desk phone with this my cell phone here, and you'll see it's ringing. And I'm gonna go ahead and click answer. Hello. All right, I'm gonna mute this line, and well, maybe I'll mute this line here. Unmute my phone, hello. Hello, let's see, let's turn it up a little bit so you can maybe hear it in the audio. All right, hello, hello. So I've got basically a phone uh, call going from my cell phone to my Microsoft Teams client. And in the reverse direction, I could make a call in the reverse direction. Um, history, and I'm just gonna click on this and click call. So I'm, I'm calling my cell phone here. It's gonna be ringing any second. And here we go. Hello. Okay, so we made a couple calls. The first call I made was for my cell phone 
to my Microsoft Teams client. Now looking back at the diagram again, that call came in from the PSTN over here through the PSTN gateway. It went to call manager and rang my desk phone. And at the same time, single number reach was activated, which is a different extension on my Microsoft Teams client. And it enacted single number reach, which went out from this phone, essentially, controlled by call manager, and routed that over the SIP gateway, went to the Microsoft Teams cloud, sent that down to my Teams client, and rang that endpoint. So that's how that call was placed and received on my Microsoft Teams client. Then we made a call in the reverse direction. So we took my Microsoft Teams client and we made a call out to the PSTN. And so what happened in the reverse direction is it went from the Teams client here, um, Teams client up to the Microsoft Teams cloud, over the SIP gateway into call manager. Call manager said, hey, to get to the PSTN, go to the gateway. It went to the PSTN gateway and out the PSTN and then rang my cell phone. So those were the two call paths we demonstrated. Um, it is totally possible now to integrate Microsoft Teams with Cisco Call Manager. If I said anything in this video that you're like, hey, I'd love to know more about that, leave a comment. Make sure you like and subscribe so you get all of our content as we release it. And if there's any kind of videos you want us to do, leave a comment and we'll try to do them for you. We'll see you later. Thanks for watching.